Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of the twin twin twins ninja. Alright, so that means it is for both DF Divine Feminine and DM Divine Masculine. Okay, and you can put yourself on whichever side you go, hunty. I'm going to read it and channel it the way that it comes through for me. You just put yourself on whichever side you go. All right, I'm just going to let spirit guide like I always do as I am obedient. Okay, if you hear any noises in the background such as cars, motorcycles, bikes, whatever it may be, honey. I am not in control of that. So I suggest that you just go with the flow as well, honey. All right. Welcome, welcome to anybody who is new and welcome back to anybody who is returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it, y'all. I want to light this Palo Santo first of all before we even pick any cords. Okay, I'm going to light the Palo Santo up. Hmm. Let us see, let us see, let us see. Thank you, spirit. Let it burn. Okay. Hmm. Cleanse in the cards. I just love the way it smells, the way it makes the space feel as well. It is known as the holy wood, so it makes sense as to why I would love it the way that I do. All right, had to take me a sip of coffee. Let's get into it. We have focus. It's my favorite card in the entire day. Somebody has eyes for you. They're focused on you. They're getting signs everywhere about this connection. No matter what they do to try to avoid it, no matter if you try to push them off or whatever the case may be, this person is continually getting signs, okay? I feel like there are other people involved here with the intervention card. So let us see what comes out. Divine Masculine. Hello. <laughs> Something about a roller coaster going through it right now, huh? Let us see. Well, ascend, level up. That's what spirit is guiding them to do. Something happened in the past, okay? Something happened in the past, and whatever it is, it's challenging them to ascend, to level up, to go down their spiritual path, to come after you, okay? Because it's how this person feels. They can't explain why they feel this way. They just feel like they have to do it. Something they have to do for whatever reason or another, okay? Um, yes, they feel weighed down by this. They feel like until they do it, they're not going to feel better. And even if they try to deny it, it's going to just continue to hurt what's going to continue to feel bad basically i see obsession so it's something they feel like they have to have all right well precisely they would have to become available this maybe triggers them or you whichever way it goes something about financial support so whether that be child alimony anything attached to connected to the government okay their money is tied up in several ways or it would be this is what's to come this is what's to come in the next few days weeks or months something they maybe want to discuss with you this person is currently ascending getting closer to the spirit going down their spiritual path their personal journey okay so yeah, but still wanting to come after you, bounty hunter. Okay, this person wants to spend some exclusive one-on-one -on -one time with you um, to come to some sort of agreement, okay? Mm -mm. Y'all, something though. Already starting. Already starting. Okay, let us see. Look at this. Keeping notes. Someone's been keeping notes on this person. So they are single, but someone is keeping notes on them. They love you, though. They really want you to know this. Okay. Despite whatever it is they have to go through. It's like it's a risk that they took to be with you. Or it's a risk that they are about to take. One or the other. And it's all because they really want to get on the same page with you. Okay. This person feels like. I don't know. It's something here, man. It's the love. It keeps poking his head out. It's unconditional. So they're willing to take the risk. 
a lot of them are wanting to be close to you or closer to you okay so i do see a move here like someone wants to move um and it keeps coming out like that someone wants to move so i guess that's what they're going to be doing And there's a karmic here who wants to retaliate or who wants to, like, get back at them. And I'm assuming the way they're going to do it is with this financial support here. Okay, so. So I said, readings are, like, heads up, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, we have drastic, harsh cutoff here. Um, somebody, like, okay, let's agree. This your divine feminine. That's who you want to be with. All right, fine. Not a problem. But this is what I need from you, you know. Um, so this is what the person is willing to do in order to be with you. It's what I see here. Okay. Um, cause they love you in an unconditional way. They're focused for you. They only have eyes for you. And so they're willing to do whatever they have to do to be with you. There's a difference when somebody is saying it and they're just saying it versus when we're seeing that this is what the person is going to be doing. Um, because they love you. Okay. So, I mean, I didn't make it up. It's just what came out. So let us see y'all. Mm -mm. All right, we'll go ahead and get into the tarot. Let us see what the messages are here. Yeah, I feel like something was made harder than it had to be. That's temporary, obviously, or it was. <clears throat> it's over now with the death card. Let us see. Someone was in regret. They couldn't live without you. They felt like they lost out on something. The Ace of Cups, they lost the love of their life. You're the love of their life. So, and it was all because of inaction. Not saying, not doing, not moving. Allowing the separation. Allowing the space. Allowing the distance. They're realizing this is all something that they allowed. You get what I'm saying? Because, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, there are things that are in your control. And there are things that are not. Um, this is one of those things that is, though. <laughs> you can get up and move your feet if you wanted to and i think this is what the person is realizing okay so they also realize they've been manipulated charmed in some way okay you have to go and check out the last reading if you haven't a lot of them unfortunately um got all sorts of situations going on with the karmic some of them even got scds it's really scary stuff going on there uh all because of you know dealing with someone that they can't trust okay so let us see what the rest of this are, what comes out. Of course, that would be up to you. That was an ugly shuffle, but that would be up to you as to what you want to do and how you want to handle that situation, but that's what it is, okay? So let us see what are the messages for the twins. We have the magician. So someone's trying to manifest you back into their life, okay? So far, they don't feel like they've been having a lot of luck with that. All right, yeah, they feel like, you know, there's no outside interference at this point. Um, they're no longer stuck in fear. They're going to be doing everything in their power to try to get you to come back in their life because they don't have peace without you. They're not happy without you, okay? It's like they can live life. They'll manage, but they're not happy without you. You have this person's heart. Like I said earlier, something here about the love of this person's life the star they feel very blessed very fortunate to have you to know you to be loved by you like this is just the way that it keeps coming out <clears throat> they don't want the relationship between you and them to be over so they have no problem with rejecting others you know what i mean um there's like people who've been waiting for this person to become single or to become available and they're like lining up and this person is like no nah, you know it's, it's good i'm good on all of you you know that's the person <laughs> For me, that's the one right there. And even if you guys were to take it super slow, one day at a time, shit, half a day at a time, they're fine with that. You get what I'm saying? So, and it's because of how deep they love you. Okay, King of Cups. So, hmm, they're drawn back to you constantly. Once again, put yourself on whichever side you go. Maybe I'm a feminine, and so this is the way it comes out for me, the way that it would read for the masculine, you know what I mean? Um, speaking to the feminine. But you put yourself on whichever side you go, okay? So let us see. I don't think that's what it is. I just think the masculine's lead in the readings. But you know, hey. <sighs> I'm going to keep an open mind. I'm willing to do that. Yeah, we have the four of pentacles. Yeah, they're definitely willing to let go of any and all other 
people. It's not a problem. Um, but I feel like a lot of them were only willing to do this after learning certain things. But I mean, it's okay. That's what life is about, right? Learning lessons. I mean, I don't really know how you feel about it when you look at it, but it's all about your perception too. You know, you can look at it like, oh, you know, they didn't know any better. They learned, you know, they got, you know, they grew up, you know, or something like that. However, other people can look at it like, ah, no, I'm good on that because why did you wait so freaking long? However, there's an engagement ring here. You know, this is my engagement ring. There's an offer. This person is, is putting something out there for you. It's not something you have to pull teeth to get. Um, with the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, you saw the star card earlier. You know, this person really wants to communicate and tell you, hey, you know, you're the only person that I can't seem to forget or get over or whatever. You know, um, this person wants to... Hmm. make this offer to you they're afraid of your rejection yeah they're afraid because they know that you know they decided to build with someone who's not their empress or emperor put yourself on whichever side you go you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> okay so yeah we have the page of pentacles okay but they're coming with it though. They just don't know if you'll be impressed. <laughs> they're coming with it. They just don't know if you'll be impressed. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. A lot of you have been waiting for this though. So, you know, you feel like it's been delayed, quite frankly. You've been waiting for them to come to their senses is what I'm seeing. <laughs> Okay, a lot of you feel like this person did not stand up for you. They did not put any energy or effort into the relationship, which is why it did not flourish the way it was supposed to. They put the energy into something else, I guess. Um, it keeps coming out like that. But they're seeing themselves as capable now. So three aces, okay? Three aces here, okay? Because they realize they want something equal. And like I said, they know you know. So it's kind of embarrassing for this person. That's how it's coming out. Six of Wands in reverse to High Priestess. They know you know. They know you know, okay? That something was one-sided. This is why they're slowly coming toward you, okay? Um, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. A lot of them think that you now look at them as if they're not your masculines. They don't want to be on the outside of your life anymore. They want to be closer. They see you as this queen of wands, somebody who is so beautiful. I feel like they went in the direction of someone who maybe has a lot of beauty, maybe has a lot of brains, but is not too loving or affectionate or kind or something. Because we have the Ten of Cups here and the Six of Cups. So once again, I did see the Ten of Wands, I mean Ten of uh, Swords as well. So once again, I feel like they... In their mind, it's like they chose to do something with someone else or other people over you. And this is why a lot of you are, are keep saying that um, second best or, you know, different things like that. You're like, I'm not nobody's second choice. I'm not this. I'm not that. And you're right. You're not. You get what I'm saying? So I don't think this person is looking at it like that, though. So this is why Spirit keeps bringing up perception, you know. Um, this is also why they're afraid to come to you and say, hey, yeah, I want to have this brand new beginning, Wheel of Fortune, and move forward with you. Seven of Pentacles want to invest. I know you've been patient more than you get what I'm saying. I feel like you deserve this and then some, you know, I want you to know how much I love you. They're afraid to do it because they know that you know what has happened. You were there too. <laughs> they ain't slow. You get what I'm saying? They know they, <laughs> they were there too. You were there too. Everybody was there. They like, I know what I did, <laughs> but you make me happy. And I want you to know that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to make you happy. In what way can I can I contribute to your life? I want to make you happy. I will let whoever goes who make you happy because I don't want to be miserable. They don't want to be sad. They don't want to be depressed. They don't want to be whatever it is they felt without you. So the chariot, moving forward with you, um, having something in the physical, like an actual relationship, an engagement, a marriage. This is not just a spiritual relationship. Yes, it is a spiritual thing, but it doesn't have to just be that. Are all twins going to come into union? No. But the way it's coming out here is whoever we're reading for, this person would like to come into union with you. Are they afraid of your rejection? Yes. Why? Because they denied you in the past. They rejected you in the past. Everybody knows karma. What goes around comes around. But their karma is not to come through you. Their karma is to come through the karmic. That is what the whole thing is about. So the 
difficult thing for the twin on the opposite end would be to forgive this person and let go of the feelings that maybe one is harboring due to whatever took place with that tennis words energy betrayal you feeling defeated you get what i'm saying or you feeling <clears throat> sabotaged uh lied to or whatever the hell you get what i'm saying comes with that ten of swords energy strength is healing okay and then the four of wands coming into union look at how beautiful that is but they are slowly coming towards you slowly they have this offer they're holding it up here's the plane i keep hearing planes outside this person has this whole like idea this whole like you know thing they want to do for you but they're they're afraid of your rejection <laughs> They're afraid that you're going to be like, no, you know what I'm saying? Go to your auntie's house with that, you know? Yeah, so this is what prevents them from doing anything. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so Nine of Wands in reverse spirit is like let the guard down just a little bit so that they can know there is hope and they stop holding themselves back. And Ten of Cups, you guys can come into harmony. You know, this is what you're being guided to see, but totally up to you as to how you would like to handle that situation, right? <clears throat> You don't have to do it. They would like for you to do it. Spirit would like for you to, but it's up to you. All right, so free will choice. So let's see. All right, so it says, I know what you mean to me. I am ready to be with only you now. Okay, so they know what you mean to me, but still maybe not 1,000% sure of the connection. It says, I feel so guilty about my actions and what I said to you, okay, as in what the connection is. They know they feel a strong pull, but what is it? Okay, that part, they're not 1,000% sure. I'm afraid of hurting you, okay, because they hurt you before. So what is this? I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. See what I'm saying? This is what holds them back. Okay. Um, the boundary doesn't help. Okay. It says, I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. Miss you. Oh, sweet. Gosh. It says, I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. I will take action soon. Please believe in me. Okay, so that's what's needed. They want you to believe that they love you. They want you to believe in them. They want you to let them um, back in a little bit. Laugh with them. Talk to them for hours. You get what I'm saying about whatever, anything, everything. You get what I'm saying? They miss that. They miss you. Um, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. They would like to. But once again, is that what you want to do? Are they going to hurt you? Have they hurt you too much? This is what crosses their mind. And the even that they've hurt you too much and it's no use in trying, then why even do it? Yeah, I get scared for being honest with you. Okay. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you because they're not you. So it's just going to go like that. It says, I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. This is why, though. They're scared. It says, I never experienced this intense connection before. Okay? So, lots and lots and lots of messages there. Okay? <clears throat> Let us see. Ooh. It's a lot. What do the twins need to know? I saw a witch. So, something there. And then something fell. So, they think highly of you. Okay? And what is this? Yeah, wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend. Or something you want. Yeah. So I wonder who that can be. Maybe karmics. You know. They put a wedge between you. Dolls. Getting together with friends. So they want to get together. Like I said. Okay. This person could be light skinned. You could be light skinned. Okay. Because it keeps coming out like that. Fair woman. Okay. Forest. Muddle. Unclear thinking. Hmm. Someone isn't thinking clearly. Because of this person. It could be the person they're dealing with too. What's here? We have tower. Okay. Solid foundation, success with effort. So they feel like you guys can build this up through being friends. Okay. Honoring debt. What's the underlining here? Disappointment in a friend or a lover. So they know you're disappointed in them for allowing someone to come in between you guys. Okay. They know that it keeps coming out like that. No matter what deck. Okay. Yeah. Older woman. Hmm. You could be older. <laughs> 
Oh, shoot. They could be older. Put this up whichever side you go. All right. We have Lily. All right. Spiritual love. Oh, see. Well, okay. Great worry over nothing. Okay. Really interesting. There could also be um, an older woman who was worried about this relationship that kind of contributed to the wedge being caused. Okay. Yeah. Family wishes come true. Yeah. There was an older woman. <laughs> Who wanted this for the person? Okay, I wanted this for you, whichever way it goes. March. So somebody born in March, okay. I mean, they allowed their advice, you know, it's not that the advice was bad or anything. They had good intentions, but you know. They just uh allowed this to bring a wedge in between them and someone that they truly love and want to be with. So if this was your reading <laughs> or you enjoyed it, oh can't leave you out like that they allowed it to happen back then however you know it's like with the butterfly it says a change for the better so there's clearly a change that's coming all right this person wants to be with you they want to reconnect they want to rekindle whatever has been you know set aside or put aside or whatever's going on with this wedge honey okay and um i feel like with solid foundation and success over time you guys can build something solid okay depending on what is applicable for you because there are many things that came out during this reading and i know that not everything flies with everybody so different stroke for different folks but take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest okay if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and haggies